I call it the Tonka Tank. So we're going to get you in here, show you the features, how things work, and let you run around before we get you on the boat. So you have a pretty good feel for the controls. It's uh, pr pretty much a wheelchair with tracks on it. It's all terrain. It makes it possible for me to get around uh, outdoors. I'm blessed to be one of the few people that have actually gotten to go out on it. It's you know definitely made my mood different, and um, I'd like to see other people in it so they can get the benefits that I'm getting. That chair is a much better platform for, for him to get around today. Great design, great thing to, uh, to get in the hands of wounded warriors and, and anybody that, uh, that needs uh, to get around in a wheelchair. It's a, it's a great tool to, to, to get soldiers or, or any wounded uh, veterans out into the woods again and reconnect them with the woods or get them out there for the first time if they've never been out there. It will change your life. It's definitely changed mine and I've, I've only got to play with one you know, twice. And I love it. I love I love getting in it and just going. I can go anywhere I want. I can go over any kind of terrain with no problems. Psychiatry and therapy and stuff only does so much for uh, soldiers coming back, Marines coming back, sailors coming back. You know any of them. Um, but being outdoors is definitely uh, for me and for my buddies that I've talked to, being outdoors and stuff like that is really um, soothing. Where uh, you could just come out and have fun. I enlisted back in, let's see, it was April of 06. Ended up uh, getting sent to 10th Mountain Division in Fort Drum. A year after I reached Fort Drum, I ended up going to Iraq. I ran missions over there for um, eight months before I got injured. Ended up getting hit with a, my vehicle got hit with an um, improvised explosive device, an IED. Now I'm wheelchair bound. I've lost the um, independence. I've lost my independence a little bit. I had good times in Iraq, but I definitely had a lot of bad times in Iraq. Um, lost a few of my buddies over there. And uh, quite a few got injured. But, you know, God be with the ones that are still here. And hopefully the ones that I did lose are in a better place. Um, you're going to have to cut the camera off, dude. I'm getting ready to start crying. It's difficult. It's really difficult. But life's too short to sit here and dwell on something, you know, that you can't help. Uh, so, I try to live every day to the fullest and uh, just enjoy life. You can't put a price tag on somebody's happiness or you can't put a price tag on, on, somebody's, uh, on somebody's life. It definitely gives back some independence, which, you know, you lose in a wheelchair. I couldn't even make it through a parking lot in my wheelchair and then I can jump in this thing and pretty much go through whatever I want. But yeah, it's definitely, definitely a helpful, helpful instrument. I'm surrounded by great people and, you know, I would, I want to push on the people that, you know, don't make bad choices, you know, uh, reach out for help. You did, reaching out for help, again, doesn't mean that you're weak. We all have problems and, um, as brothers and sisters, we got to stick together and uh, we can overcome it all and we can overcome anything if we do it.